Well, thank you so much over there at Hidden Spotlight Treasures channel. We're over 950 subs now. Wow, we started at 800 on my goal to get to 1,000, and we're almost there, like 40-some more subs at Hidden Spotlight Treasures, and we'll make that goal of 1,000. Thank you. Did you ever see that movie, Paper Moon, 1973 movie? Uh, Ryan O'Neill. I mean, that's back when Hollywood still made some good movies. But the best line in that movie was uh, Ryan O'Neill says, uh, don't, don't worry about me, kid. I got new ideas coming in every day. <laughs> I thought that was so funny back then, 1973. And, well, anyhow, I had one of those brilliant ideas come in today. I thought I was going to put metal wire on a weed eater. You know, take out the regular string. Metal wire would last longer. And, well... Anyhow, that's what you're going to be watching as I'm narrating this story, as I'm telling the story, because I'm going to tell you a story today that you've never heard before. It's a sad story, but unfortunately, you're going to have to watch me do the weed eater wire, unfortunately. Well, who knows? Maybe you might get a kick out of it. Uh, the, the project went halfway. Well, if you want to see that project, go over to the channel of Recca, the Ruins of America channel, where I narrate this story. Now, let's get right to it. Our big story today, well, I should have told this story a couple weeks ago, but my computer uh, was fried, so now better late than ever. So this, act, this, act, this story actually happened two weeks ago. It's a big story. Like I said, you've never heard it before. Student visa stimulus check story. And it's a doozy, let me tell you. Like I said, you've never heard it before. I might even get some new listeners coming in, some students, some students coming in trying to learn about the student visa stimulus program. <laughs> oh, 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 boy, is this going to be good. But first, as you guessed, I, myself, have not received a stimulus check. No, I haven't. Because I was born and raised in America, of course, and apparently that makes me ineligible for any stimulus check. Sad, sad indeed. Okay. Matter of fact, if your objective was to lose credibility, well, congratulations, government, because you have succeeded most brilliantly in losing credibility with all of us people. I mean, how in the hell did us American citizens get a government that literally spits in our face every chance they get? But I got to tell you, I mean, this story is not about a born and raised American veteran not getting a handout. I mean, that's not the story. No, no, no. This story is much, much bigger. This is about how far America has fallen, how screwed up America is. Sad beyond belief. Now, like I said, this is a true story. I know it because I got it firsthand. This is not secondhand information. This is firsthand information. Got the story right from the kid. Now, let's get right to it, okay? We got a young man born in Vietnam, okay? Remember, I heard this right from his own mouth. Firsthand story. So about two years ago, this young man. He's about 20, 21 years old. He got, uh, well, two years ago, he probably would have been 18 years old. But anyhow, two years ago, he got a student visa to go to college in California. So again, you know, he was born and raised in Vietnam. So for the first 18 years of his life, this young man lived in Vietnam. He's a good kid, comes from a halfway well-to-do family, hence he was able to get a student visa. And he uh, was able to go to California, San Diego. He spent a year going to college in the San Diego area. Okay, are you still with me? I know you've already guessed the ending of the story, but please hang in there. Okay, so he does a year in San Diego going to college, but he's also working part-time in a Chinese restaurant. He does speak Cantonese, of course. He's of Chinese bloodline. And after a year of going to college and uh, working part-time, and well, I'm not sure if that was legal, work, him, him leaking here, you know, him working here at, on a student visa. I'm not sure if that was legal, but really at this point, that is neither here nor there. So after a year of this, he goes back home to Vietnam for whatever reason. He just could not finish the college and he had to go home. Okay, I hate to 
beat a dead horse here, but maybe a few snowflakes drop in by accident and they really don't, you know, listen too well. Again, the kid was born and raised in Vietnam. He is not an American citizen. He was only here in San Diego, San Diego for a year, going to school, worked part-time, and then he went home. And, okay, <laughs> have you guessed the ending yet? Well, I'm sure, I'm sure you have, because basically a fifth grader who studied our government could figure out the punchline on this story. The kid in Vietnam, he's been home now for about a year, okay, he got a phone call from his old roommate in San Diego, okay, while, while he was going to school in San Diego and working part-time at the Chinese restaurant, of course, you know, young kids have roommates. The roommate calls him, calls him in Vietnam, and he says, guess what? He says, you just got a stimulus check in the mail. <laughs> oh, man, I like, I, remember, I'm hearing this from the kid in Vietnam, firsthand he's telling me this he got his stimulus check in the mail at his old address in san diego yeah like i said that is the sad punchline which i know you already guessed i mean again this is beyond sad we're talking about stimulus money and the trillion we're talking trillions of dollars here and somehow they pushed a trillion dollar button and we got american veterans like myself who've got none of this gravy train money? How is that possible that you can push a trillion dollar button? You can give people who were born in other countries who were here temporarily for a year going to school, how can you send them some of the gravy train money out of a trillion dollars, but somehow American veterans don't even get a penny of the gravy train money? I mean, why in the hell did we even serve our country? I ask myself that every day now. Why in the hell did I even sign up to serve my country when they are literally pushing trillion dollar buttons now and the veterans like myself have not seen a penny? They promised us unemployment for the gig workers, right? I'm a gig worker. YouTube is paying me nothing. Of course, I qualify for unemployment when you you're dealing with Donald Trump's promise. Donald Trump promised, Congress also promised the gig workers unemployment money because the whole system is shut down, right? Even gig workers are not getting any money. This money's from in, coming from Congress. This money's coming from the American people. Not a penny. Not a penny for any gig worker. And now we got American veterans like myself, not a penny in stimulus money. And I'm here to tell you that we got people who were born in other countries that were here a year, temporarily here a year, going to school, who got a stimulus check. If this story is not sad, well, please, just go back and start watching the Kardashians again. But seriously, I wish I was making this shit up. But I, I couldn't, I couldn't in a million years if I tried make this up. I mean, I'm just not that clever. And I, again, this is first-hand information. Look at that UFO falling there. This is first-hand information. I heard it from his own mouth. You've never heard this story anywhere before. Of course, because it's not getting out. Of course, he is a good kid. And he instructed his old roommate in San Diego to send it back to Donald Trump. Send that check back to the government. Send it back to the golden puppet dictator with a big smile on his face. Thank you. Thank you very much.